reprimanded last May, then fired from the Urbandale School District this April. Now the State Department of Education says the former teacher's concerns need further investigation. Amanda Delzell sounded the alarm over the potential abuse of a special needs student last year. Her concerns are now part of a state investigation involving four current and former Urbandale teachers and administrators. WHO 13's Aaron Kiernan has been following the story for months and has the latest. As you know, we've been following this case since last fall when teacher Amanda Delzell was placed on administrative leave. Now, four educators are facing serious allegations as a result of the way they handled this incident. Human Resources Director Lauren DeCryf, Principal Anna Taggart, Director of Special Education Shauna Shanahan, and Special Education Teacher Alice Pewick. They are all still employed, um, some of them with the Urbandale School District, one of them, Shanahan, now with the Johnston School District. They are accused of numerous serious violations of Iowa code, everything from committing an act of physical abuse against a student and falsifying, suppressing information, to engaging in illegal discrimination and failure to comply with federal, state, and local laws. Also things like refusal to implement an IEP or a behavior intervention plan and repeatedly failing to practice with skill and safety. Now the person at the center of all of this is this little boy, Keaton Pettick. He was in Amanda Delzell's general education class during the 2022-2023 school year. He has a number of disabilities and isn't able to speak for himself. Delzell says that's why she decided to look at the security footage from Webster Elementary School after Keaton was physically hurt and emotionally upset at the end of that school year. She took her concerns about what she saw to administrators and was admonished, put on leave and eventually fired. Keaton's parents also watched that video. You also see the SPED teacher um, at times scooting him down the hallway with her foot. as he's banging his head on the floor. And screaming out, crying. Describe for me what's going through your head and your heart when you're watching that. My heart's in my stomach at this point. If you could go back to that day, would you do the same thing? Absolutely, and I said that during my school board meeting, as hard and as scary as this has been, um, I'm really disappointed in the other adults that I have seen not do the right thing. What does this mean for your career? I don't know. That's what's really scary is I don't know. Um, I pray that I'll be in a classroom again with kids. So again, these four educators are still working with students in Urbandale and Johnston. Their cases now go to the Assistant Attorney General who will prosecute the charges against them. We'll let you know what happens. Aaron, thank you. The Urbandale School District released a statement reading, while the Urbandale Community School District cannot comment on specific personnel issues or allegations, the district is aware that formal complaints against current and former employees have been filed with the State Board of Educational Examiners. The district is in full cooperation with the State Board of Medical Examiners.